Estamos. Boom, guys, we're live. Thank you. My name is Fabian Cordova. Welcome to another traffic training. In this uh, lesson, we're going to be talking about conversion rate optimization and why is it really important for you guys to understand and apply this for your future businesses. So um, yesterday we talked about, you know, um, lifetime value, the past training, we talked about average order value, and then we talked about the Facebook metrics. And that's really important to have, you know, set in, in, within a context before running traffic, right? So let me just start with a simple way that you guys can understand what conversion rate optimization. Okay, so this is going to be your website. So you have a video here, whatever, text, 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 button. So this is your Facebook ad. So the most important part is that you're sending traffic from here to your site or any other pages, but what happens once someone clicks from Facebook to your site, it's a complete different story and it's not Facebook's fault. And I just wanna make sure that, I just cannot stress this enough, this is not Facebook's fault, okay? Because if you don't have your website optimized, you're basically turning your dollars and throwing them down the trash. Why am I talking about this? Let me just erase this for a second. Because if you're sending traffic to your website and this takes up to five, six, seven, eight seconds to load, no one will go to the site. Like, will you be willing to spend like, like the, the, the load time to see if it actually loads? No, you actually were like, we're in the, in the direct response marketing business model. So we just want to act fast and we just want to click uh, people to click and go to our site and buy. That's the most important part. So if you don't have your website loading, let's say within two and three seconds, and this can be your page, this can be your website, this can be your product page, this can be your Shopify store, this can be your Magento shop, this can be your website. It doesn't matter. If you're sending traffic from Facebook and this is taking a lot of time to load, you're burning money. So this is really why we're, it's really important if you're doing, uh, if you have a Shopify store or if you, uh, let's say, have a page that it loads fast. Like if you have a Shopify store, get the, the fastest theme you can get. And something really important, that I, that I uh, cannot stress enough. You have to, it has to be mobile optimized. So it's optimized for mobile. Why? Because from 80 to 90% of your traffic is gonna be on mobile. So that's why it's really important for you guys to really understand that if you don't have a mobile, uh, a responsive theme optimized for mobile devices, you're, you're, you're not actually figuring out or actually understanding the reason why you're putting that piece of advertisement in that specific placement. Again, 80 to 90% of my traffic, and it's most of most people, and even higher sometimes, it's mobile traffic. So now, 2020, please just go ahead and really optimize your ads for mobile traffic. Of course, if we're talking about images and we're talking about videos, it doesn't matter. It really has to work. And the best way to marry this two together is by using the exact same format that will allow you from a Facebook ad, from someone to seize everything from their phone, let's, let's say that this is an iPhone, the format that the ad is displayed has to match, say, has to match the responsiveness of your website, which is really, really, really important. And basically, in simple terms, that's how you can start building in really general terms, how can you start optimizing your website. Number one, speed. Number two, that it has to be mobile optimized. And I can go, go on and on and on and on on different uh, you know, metrics and different things and the color of the buttons and things that, that you can actually then start building upon. But I cannot stress enough that if you're running Facebook advertisement to a page, to a site, to a Shopify store, to a ClickFunnels funnel, and you're not uh, optimizing your stuff for mobile devices and it's not loading fast, you're gonna have a lot of trouble because you're, you're gonna start missing clients. And, and it's kind of, you're trying to send, it's kind of, when, when you turn on the water, 
water starts coming from, from the faucet, right? What you're actually doing when your side is close, uh, closing the, the water faucet, so actually the traffic, it's not, it's kind of burning your money on advertisement. So again, guys, really important. Uh, let me switch to this side. From a Facebook, uh, this, uh, this can be a Facebook ad, this can be a Facebook image, this can be a Facebook video, this can be a carousel ad, it doesn't matter. Whenever you're doing Facebook advertising from one side to another, you need to take into consideration the time that the page loads, number one, and that this is mobile optimized. Why? Because most of your traffic, it's basically going to be through that specific placement. And in simple terms, guys, like that's what I really wanted to talk to you guys. And if you're finding this valuable again, please go to SebastianGomezMentoring.com. This is really, really simple and we can, you know, uh, free your let's say all your doubts and all the questions you have with a simple phone call So if you are really interested just go to the website watch the video and you find it valuable You just schedule a call with us and we're definitely going to be willing to help you guys So basically that's today's training. I know it's super uh, Short, but it's really important for you guys to start learning the basics on conversion rate optimization So you can make sure that you're making the best out of every single dollar that you're uh, spending on Facebook advertisement guys Thank you so much. My name is Fabian Cordova and see you in tomorrow's traffic training.